For the next 100 hours, I'm gonna be traveling the world in first class. I spent over $60,000 to experience the most luxurious flight lounges, airplane suites, and exclusive amenities available in the sky. And make sure you stay until the end because the last suite is the most expensive first class suite to ever exist. So we're starting our journey in Germany and this airline has its own first class terminal. So they have their own security, their own check-in desk, and they even have a car to take you out to the plane when it's time to board. This seat is really big. Each suite comes with a TV, a remote control, seat controls, and even a privacy screen for extra comfort. I literally ate so much, I'm so full. They gave me three appetizers, two main courses, Honestly, this is an amazing first class. So they made my bed and this is a really comfy bed. It's almost like my own little cubby. If all the first classes are gonna have beds like this, this challenge is not gonna be a problem. There's about eight hours left of the flight, so I'm gonna try and get some sleep and I'll see you in the morning. I just slept for like six hours and it was one of the most comfortable sleeps I've ever had on a plane. After landing in Singapore, I had to run to the check-in desk for my next ticket to Mumbai and I was given access to the first class lounge. This lounge has absolutely everything. It's called the private room. This menu has like, that's embarrassing. There's so many things on this menu and you can order whatever and it's all free. I ordered champagne and lobster bisque. Honestly, after that 12 hour flight, it's nice to kind of come here, relax a little bit before the next flight. Cheers to hour 13. Oh, food's here. So I had to eat my food quickly before my next flight, but I was able to make one quick stop on the way to my gate. This Singapore airport literally has everything, including a butterfly garden. There's butterflies everywhere. Check this one out. All right, so right now we're boarding our second flight. We're on hour like 15, I think. And I've actually been on this one before. It's one of the biggest suites in the sky. Check this out. This thing is so big. So the reason why this suite is so big is I actually bought two of them and I made it a double suite, which means you can make a full twin bed when you're ready to go to sleep. So we're about five minutes into the flight and they've already served us food, the appetizer. So now it's time to give you guys a little tour. There's a chair right there, chair right here, two flat screen TVs, one right in front of View. You can raise and lower the window shades right here. This controls the seat. You get an amenity kit, which comes in a leather bag. Facial mist. I don't know if you're supposed to put that much on. So they gave us this menu, and I'm telling you, this menu has everything. And you can order as much as you want any time of the day. They just keep on bringing out food. I don't got a problem with that. <laughs> wow. The main course. It's great. Oh my god. Mm. I'm on like hour like 18 right now. It doesn't feel like it. This literally feels like my bedroom. They asked me if I wanted dessert. I said yes. And then they brought out three plates of dessert. So, oh, wow. All right, so now I'm in the bathroom. And this bathroom is the biggest airplane bathroom I have ever been on. So right now I'm about to change into my pajamas. I'm going to try and get some rest on this flight. So the pajamas come in this little bag right here. These are some of the comfiest pajamas I've ever been in. And they gave me slippers to wear. Ooh. Gotta use the facial missed again. That's nice. We're 36,000 feet up in the air, and I am sitting in a bed bigger than the one I have at home. If I had a girlfriend, she'd be right here. This is so comfortable. Oh my god, I can get used to this. You know, with this 100-hour challenge, I'm gonna need to get some rest. This is perfect for that. Oh my gosh, I am living the dream. See you in the morning. <sighs> I'm here in this lounge, and this lounge has literally everything. I have about six hours until my next flight, and there's also free foot massages. Someone's about to be touching these nasty. We're boarding the third flight right now. I feel so bougie. First class, everyone. First class. This seat is crazy. Oh, orange juice. Thank you so much. Mm. If this is what it's like to be a millionaire, I'm all for it. Mm. It's definitely the details in this suite. Like they actually put a real plant inside. <laughs> That's nice. Each suite comes with a complimentary snack basket. And also there's a shower on board. 36,000 feet up in the air. Talk about crazy. So I scheduled mine about an hour after takeoff. And you get about 15 minutes to go and rinse off and change and do whatever you need to do in the bathroom. And I am so excited. Okay, so I'm here at the lounge, and let me tell you, this lounge has everything, even a shoe shiner, which I feel like is just kind of extra, but hey, first class, extra's good sometimes. 
I thought by the fourth and final flight, I was gonna be really tired, but I'm not that tired. I think it's because I'm flying first class. <laughs> We're like on hour like 70 right now, like 75 or something. I'm going strong. All right, this is gonna cut to me. This is gonna cut to me on the last flight. This is definitely the best first class yet. And I'll explain why. This is a hotel room. You have a massive flat screen TV and it's also touch screen. If the TV isn't big enough, you have your own personal tablet right here and it is massive. The tablet and the TV are not connected so you can watch a movie while playing games on the tablet. Literally, there's so much leg room. I could just chill down here. Honestly, this is quite nice. And they even gave me little slippers, look. This seat is so big and also it can do so many things like watch this. Here we go. I'm on hour 82 right now of flying and I literally feel like I just started and I don't know if that's because I'm flying in first class, but it might be. So out of all the suites, I would say this is the most private and that's because this door goes all the way up to the ceiling and all the way to the ground. I literally could do anything in here and no one would know. I could fart, like watch this. I feel so private. Okay, so this menu is so big. It's a la carte dining, which means that you can order at any time during the flight. Oh, they have caviar. Caviar, if you didn't know, is fish eggs. And this is my fifth time eating it, and I still think it's gross. Trying to get used to it, so let's give it a try. Lots of lemon so you can hide the fish taste. Here we go. Ooh. The fact that you're eating fish eggs. I definitely need some water after that. Much better. I don't know why I keep eating it. Cheers to the last first class flight. With all this fancy food, I feel like I should be dressed nice. So uh, I have an idea. That is better. Caviar. Mm. Right. Okay, I'm done with this. So this control panel is one of the coolest things about this suite. You can control everything, including the color of the lights and even the floor. And then you have all of these buttons right here. Why do you need all these buttons? All right, so here we have the main course. This is the sea bass. I honestly don't even know. <laughs> the worst part about this challenge, after doing the full 100 hours, I'm not gonna be able to fly first class anymore. <laughs> this is literally the best thing ever. Okay, so they made my bed and I actually need some sleep because the last time I slept was probably like 24 hours ago. So I'm gonna get some rest. I will see you guys when I wake up. I'm just gonna sleep in the bow tie. Comfy, comfy, comfy. Oh, and guys, people are saying that YouTube is not letting subscribers like the videos right now. Test it out, see if it works. If it does, comment down below and let me know because that's messed up. All right, good night. Guys, there's only 10 minutes left of this flight. This is definitely by far the best first class I have. Today, we're gonna be living 24 hours on a private jet. We can travel wherever, whenever, and pick up whoever we want. So this has to be the craziest thing we've ever done. Let's check this out. Oh my god. So there's a bunch of things that come with this jet, like this PS5, a bunch of snacks, and so much more. This thing is crazy. This has so much room compared to a normal <laughs> They gave us a fruit basket. Yo, they even have pillows from Genshin Impact. Aww. Dude, there's a full other room. Is that a couch? This is the comfiest recliner I've ever been. <laughs> this is literally the nicest airplane bathroom I've ever seen before. What? Mm. Even the toilet's cool. This plane is definitely big enough for some more friends. So Dom and Lexi are actually on their way here right now. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to our private jet. You are got, you insane? You like it? Yes. Are Welcome. you kidding me? Oh my God. Also, we have our very own dining table. Brad, the dining table is cool, but like we have a PS5, all right? We bought a PS5. I remember Liv saying that she was actually skiing in the mountains right now. We could go and pick her up. We literally just go pick her up in a private jet. I mean, we have plenty of room for her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we want to pick up our friend Liv in the mountains in Mammoth. Is that cool? Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. First stop, Mammoth. <laughs> Woo! Dom, we're about to take off. Are you feeling okay? I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Why? What if there's like turbulence? Well, there's turbulence everywhere. I brought a parachute just in case. What? Shut up. What? That is extra. Why didn't you bring one for the rest of us? <laughs> Guys, come on. Seriously, we're not going to be falling out of the sky. So we took off to our first destination to find our friend Liv. Yo, I think I see Liv from here. There she is. She's snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just appreciate the fact that we're eating a buffet 30,000 feet up in the air right now? This is some fruit I've never even seen before. <laughs> what the hell is this? I don't know. What is this? <laughs> While I was falling in love with the jet and its unlimited food, Drew was falling in love with someone else. Is everything else shit with you guys? Mm hmm Yeah. Thank you. Bro, oh, she was looking at me, I swear. Bro. <laughs> Bro, are you flirting with the flight attendant right now? Not yet. You know she literally gets paid to ask you that question, right? <laughs> we landed! Woo! Drew, what are you doing? Let's go. I'm gonna make a move. Dude, we have a limited amount of time here. Give me one second. Bro, I don't know what he's doing, but I know it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. So, what do you think? You literally look like the budget version of Toma. You come here often? I work here. Right. <laughs> Me and Lex are gonna check the lodge and make sure she's not by the hot chocolate. Yeah. Okay, okay. alright. See you guys. All right, good luck. Is that Liv right there? Liv! This might be Liv right here. Liv! Nope, that's not her. Dude, there's a whole mountain. We gotta start snowboarding. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you just fall? No. <laughs> Let's go! I can't find Liv! We're looking for Liv. Have you seen her? No. Damn it. Hey, um, we're looking for our friend Liv. Do you know where she is? I haven't seen her. No, bro, I can't find her anywhere. <laughs> Liv! Liv! Dom. Hey, what's up? Did you find her? Yeah, we did. She's right over there. Oh, what? Yeah, come here. Yo, Liv! Hey! How did you guys find her? I just called her. Where have you guys been? We searched the entire mountain for you. We're here to pick you up. To go anywhere. Anywhere. You'll see, it's a surprise, okay? On our way back to the private jet, we made a quick pit stop to have some fun in the snow. Yo guys, check it out, I made a snowman. Oh, he's kind of cute. Right? And look, now he's Paimon. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. 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 One. Ah! Okay, so guys, the bathroom is so big that we can literally all fit inside here. <laughs> Yo, this is honestly kind of cozy. Why are we doing this? <laughs> yeah, like I get it. It's a lot of space, but we've got space out there. Yeah. Oh can... my God, who farted? Dom. Bro, Dom. We're in the bathroom. All right. Okay, everyone, get out. Get out. Yeah. Everyone, go, get go, out. Go, go, go. go. Here, close the door. Hey, Brent. Oh, here is some sushi for you guys. Oh my god, this looks so good. How am I just not finding out we have a chef? <laughs> we can make anything you like. Wait, anything? Ladies oh and gentlemen, some rice pudding. Oh, oh my, my god. god. How did he just do that? <laughs> <laughs> so let's give it a try. Oh my god, that's good. Yo, it's actually really good. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. Fairy tea. No way. Thank, Thank you. you. This is straight out of the video game. <laughs> hey, cheers, Drew. Let the montage begin. But then we started to hit some turbulence. It's almost scared. Oh my. These smaller planes are not as safe. I don't feel safe. Can we land? Can we land? Lexi, how you doing over there? Not good. I'm, I'm grabbing it, bro. I'm grabbing it. Your parachute? Wait, what is that going to do? It's my glider. That's a video game. Bro, I don't know. This is all I have. Thankfully, we survived the turbulence and we made it safely to Las Vegas. Yeah. We'll be back on the plane in a few hours. <laughs> Marry a stranger? So I had someone special in mind, but I'm pretty sure my best man would not approve of this. My boy's getting married! You got the flight attendant? That's your stranger? Well, yeah. I mean, she's pretty. That should be me! Alright. <laughs> now, let's, let's, let's get this let's going. Let's do it. We're here to celebrate a promise of love tonight between Brent and Gracie. I promise to be. I promise to be your hunk a hunk of burning love. I now pronounce you united in love. Seal it with a kiss, baby. Ridiculous. Dude, jump off building. Dude, god. Oh my too. god. Yo, he's probably getting on the ledge right now, looking down and being like, oh, oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Gamble everything in your wallet. I have $500. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, I'm late. We have extra room on the plane, right? Wait, who are these girls? I told them they could come. I'm okay with it. No, no, no. We don't have enough room on this plane. I'm sorry, girls. Brent, please let them stay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan for what we should do next. I think it'd be cool for us all to go to Mexico right now. Wait, Wait what? Mexico? Mexico. You're saying we're going to leave the country. What do you guys say? Yeah. yeah. We're going to Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. With only 10 hours left, we had to get some sleep before we landed in Mexico. Oh my god. This is like an actual full bed. I call the bed. I get the first round, you get the second round. Is it comfortable? Don't even talk to me, I'm going to bed.
The girls are already asleep. Drew is still hogging the bed, so we decided to surprise him with a new friend of ours. Drew, Drew, wake up, wake Drew, wake up. up. There's a massive fighter right there. Oh my god, oh my god, stop, stop. Take it the fuck off. That's what happens when you take the bed. These things even survive 30,000 feet in the air. Have fun with Harry. No, no. All right, so we're actually almost to our destination. We're about one hour away. Wake up, Lexi, it's breakfast time. Oh yeah. This looks so good. <laughs> and there's more. Oh my god. Thanks for sharing the bed, Drew. I don't know why, but that was like the most comfortable bed I've ever slept on. <laughs> I remember a spider and just going like right back to bed after that. <laughs> We're in Cabo! As you guys know, we're only here for about a few hours. So I got a hotel room that comes with a bunch of cool things that we can do. This kitchen is bigger than my living room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look at your view too. This is the nicest room ever. You get like the pool view outside of the ocean. What the heck? <laughs> the fact that we don't even get to sleep here is ridiculous. Dude, I know. I'm staying, bro. Bro, you can't stay. Drew, no. he's coming to get you. You have yeah, to leave. Oh, no, no. no, we gotta go. Oh my God. <laughs> really, do we have to? Yeah, it's go. time. I don't wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we finally made it back after the longest 24 hours and Drew is still in his Toma costume. Wait, I didn't tell you? What? Dude, I have a date without flight attendant. Are you kidding me right now? I'll catch you soon. Good luck, man. <laughs> This is Slab City. It's ranked the most dangerous city in America and it's rumored to be the only city left with no laws. Today, my friends and I are gonna try and stay 24 hours in this lawless city. But I realized most of my friends wouldn't wanna go here, so I had to lie to them. Okay, so I'm going on this tropical vacation and I wanted to see if you wanted to come. Hell no! No, I'm good. You down? No. What's the catch? There's no catch. There's no catch. Nope. I don't trust you. Why would I trust you? After a lot of convincing, there were three of us. We packed our bags and headed toward the city. Brent, I don't think the airport is in the middle of the desert. All right, you caught me. Where are we going? <laughs> we're not going on a tropical vacation. No what? shit. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. <laughs> we're going cool. to the most dangerous city in uh, America. Uh, what? We signed up for a tropical vacation. Why did we bring a bikini and flip flops if we're gonna just be sitting in the scorching hot sun? Oh, there's a lake there. Oh! Fun. It's considered to be the only city left with no laws. That's a real life purge, right? <laughs> did we bring weapons for protection? Oh yeah, actually I did. Good, see? Drew brought a weapon. Okay. Right here. Oh my gosh, we're screwed. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Slab <laughs> City, we are here. This who is excited? So excited. Nobody, nobody's okay. excited. And they shouldn't be. With no electricity, no running water, and no law enforcement, they're gonna wish they were anywhere but here. All right, so we're driving to Bombay Beach. So apparently this is an abandoned beach that no one goes to. This doesn't look like a beach. <laughs> we are here. Wow. This place seems really really abandoned. There's like no one around. I haven't seen one single human yet. Me either. All those windows are boarded up. Oh there. my, what the heck? That's a pirate ship? That's so cool. Okay, just park right here and we'll walk down to the beach. You guys ready to get out of the car? If we have yeah. to. <laughs> if we have to. Yes. Guys, do you, do you smell that? It smells like rotten Fish. Yeah. No, for Can real. You smell that? Absolutely awful. Talking about me behind my back. <laughs> There's like a little bar here. Wait, what is this? Um, hi. Can I have a uh, mojito? Uh <laughs> here we go. Oh, ew. Okay, I don't even want to touch that. <laughs> so guys, there's a bus stop here. No one's here that says the ETA for the bus is never, which means I think we'll be here for a while. <laughs> what the heck is Whoa, this? There's a telephone booth. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you get us the f out of here? <laughs> Drew! Well, I, I don't want to be here, Brent. Oh, come on. This is fun. <laughs> here. I need to call my mom. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Missing persons on a milk carton, you know? What? Oh my God, it smells so bad. I'm a Let's go. <laughs> Guys, literally, the closer we get to the lake, the worse it smells. Oh my god. That's putrid. That's like worse than the fart spray. That is oh really bad. It smells like Jeremy. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually gonna throw up. <laughs> Look at that. There's literally a swing inside the water. I don't think that's ever been used. <laughs> so people used to come to this lake all the time, but the lake turns so toxic that everything living inside the lake Die. No. And so that's why there's literally all these fish bones on the beach. Literally, oh. we're just stepping on fish there, bones. Oh my why did I bring a fishing pole then? Wait, what? I thought we were gonna go fishing. Why? Oh my god. This is like all dead fish. Yeah. 
Yo, this is disgusting. Look, you can see like bones and teeth and all that. Oh like all the white little God. stuff. I cannot believe that there's no one here. Like literally I no one. I can believe that. It smells, there's <laughs> nothing out here. <laughs> it makes perfect sense actually. <laughs> Drew, what are you doing? Fishing. We literally just told you there's literally no fish. <laughs> out of this whole place, there at least has to be one fish. Oh, he's hopeful. <laughs> yeah, okay, he's so it hopeful. says that this, this lake was formed from a flood 110 years ago. Oh, what? Oh, I got something. Drew. What are you do? Where'd you get the kayak? Oh my god. <laughs> what is the water's toxic, Drew. <laughs> Look at what I caught. And y'all said I wouldn't catch anything. What, a bone? Yeah, well, there's signs of fish out there. <laughs> Dead fish. <laughs> Bombay Beach has a ton of abandoned buildings like this one. This one looks like it's a casino. Yo, this is so sick. Sketchy. There's like so much graffiti. Here. Oh my god. Yeah, I got the EBGBs. Oh my awesome. god. Damn. I just want to see if I could. You got a lot of anger. No. <laughs> hey, you know, you guys, you guys shouldn't be here. It's not really safe around here. Oh, okay. We should probably okay. head out. What? Okay, we, we gotta go. Let's get out of here. What? That scared what? me. I, I thought that was you at first. That doesn't look anything like me. I have no words. <laughs> like, that was polite. <laughs> we should actually get out of yeah, yeah, the beach area. Let's go. Let's, yeah, let's no. go. Next, we went to an art museum nearby. People that live in Slab City create art that lives here. Oh my gosh, there's a plane here. Just crash here and someone's <laughs> left it? Oh my gosh, what? Holy is this? crap. Bunch of baby it's a baby ads. mobile. Let me just tell tear apart some Barbies and just glue them all over a car. <laughs> this is the car of a murderer. I already know it. I know it. Pearson, what are you doing? I'm just getting my cardio in. <laughs> this teeter totter looks like it's gonna break in Ooh, half. Yeah. You go slower. <laughs> I don't have any control. It looks like you're having fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can bowl here too. Very good at bowling, right? I'm better than you though. You're not, you're not. Yes, better. I am. Well, let's, let's put it to the test. All right, I'm about to get a strike. Oh, Watch this. Brent. Pathetic. Okay, so Brent has three pins. <gasps> Come on. Oh. So Pearson got three pins too, so it's a tie. Good job, Pearson. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, cheater. Whoa. Cheater. Oh, Drew, yeah. what are you doing? I'm a pirate <laughs> in the middle of the desert. <laughs> oh, they got swords up here. And now we fight. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, stay back, stay oh, back. You don't, oh, don't oh, leave me. Close. Not this time. Oh my God. What is this? Oh. It's just a bunch of TVs. Hey, Pearson, uh, do you uh, need a man? Dear God, no. <laughs> Dear God. Pearson, you uh, turn me on. Okay, I really want to go home now. <laughs> hey, yo, Brad, I think I like this one the most. What does it say? It says, like the video. Oh, that means they got to like the video. Like it. Guys, like the video. Go, go, There's go. There's no laws here, and we haven't broken a single law. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's All right, what are some rules we can break? Um, <laughs> public nudity? Okay. Oh, else? oh, oh, true. Oh, oh my God. No. Get this going. No. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> I think we're gonna stop the breaking the rules now. This is literally hell. <laughs> we also got to meet a local named Tomahawk. She's been living in Slab City for eight years and explain what it's like to live in a city with no laws. And what Slab makes this people. place so special? I think it's the freedom. People say it has no laws. Is that kind of scary? They say there's no law, but God has law. <laughs> have you seen any like bad things happen here? All the time. Friends have been murdered or... Mm -hmm. or so you didn't stuff. like it when you first came? I was kind of like, uh, I'm really scared when you left me here. She was all also generous enough to show us around and even give us gifts. She gave it to me. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's my little souvenir. I actually got something for all of you if you want it. Actually? Yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you. You gave us gifts, so we want to give you gifts. We're looking for people that inspire us, you know, do good for the community, and it seems like you do here. And so we want to give you a thousand dollars. Oh my. Are you sure? <laughs> yep. Oh, you, you guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to dinner. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to dinner. <laughs> All right, so we just got to a place called Salvation Mountain. Basically, a guy painted this mountain for over 10 years. I wish I had that kind of patience. Wow. I really do. Yeah. Oh, my God. I have never seen anything like that. There's a water coaster. Is that Andrew? Oh, Wait, my God. Oh. <laughs> Lexi's heart. I guess there really is a law here. There is. <laughs> did you put this here? I did. Wow. <laughs> this is just like in the middle of the desert. Like why yeah. choose this location? That looks like a house. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, it's, a it's a lot of paint cans. I wonder what it was used for. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? This is scary. Yo. It's like a little house. It's like random notes. You will live forever. <gasps> okay. That's good to know. Okay, so right now we found an open spot to set up our tent. So Pierce and I are going to take the red tent and then Drew and Liv, you guys can take the blue tent. Yes! 
That's kind of weird. What? What? That's you need to stay kinda... warm. <laughs> Are you trying to cuddle with me? Oh, it's going to be cold. I don't know. <laughs> so, guys, this is actually my first time camping with Pearson. Wow. And, and it happens to be in the most dangerous city in America. That's first. Yeah, you picked a good spot. Yeah. yeah. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because you guys want to see this. So make sure you hit that like button for our safety. Oh, we're what? sacrificing our lives here. <laughs> While we were settling in, we had an unexpected guest come by the campsite. I mean, they said that they didn't have Wait. Shh. Oh. Oh, no. oh my god. Go, 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 go. That's a coyote. There's a coyote over there. By Dangerous City, it might be because there's coyotes. Animals. <laughs> so guys, we still are in a city with no laws. I feel like we should take advantage of it. Kill someone! Oh, Whoa. Okay, Pearson. Oh, Maybe we gone. should break another law. I mean, Drew, like, do you have any ideas? Other than public nudity? <laughs> Stop <laughs> with that, all right? I'm up with you in that. Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's illegal to drift a car. But we Whoa. can now, though. Let's do this car. Your car. Your car, Pearson. What do you say? It's my baby. Guys, it's like 110 degrees out here and we have a fire. Yeah, but you can't camp without fire. You're like, right. We you're had right. to do it. Guys. What? There's a cop. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, oh like, fuck. You're wrong. Wait, what? Wait, do you think you saw the drifting? Oh, oh. no. How's it going? Good. Oh, it's good. Are you guys familiar with this area at all? No. We were exploring it just today. Uh, this isn't really like the safest of, of areas to be camping. You guys sure you want to be here? That's part of like the video. Like we're doing like surviving like the most dangerous place. Well, if you guys get in danger and you need me, I'm like the only gap out here for like 15 square miles. How are you gonna get in touch with me? How you Wait, he's got That's a point. You guys think about that? Wait, so is it true that there's there's no laws here? We talk about it about like purge night. <laughs> really? Uh, we can pack up. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Be safe, guys. Thank you. I think that's our sign to go home. <laughs> shall we? I don't think so. I think we should stay at least. I mean, we have to stay the night. How bad could it be? Like, seriously. I mean, we do have Drew's arms. Can we stop with that? <laughs> yeah, I say we stay. You're not braver than Ben if you don't stay. Well, I was planning on staying anyway, so. <laughs> so, so what do you say, Pearson? Think about our safety, though. Our <laughs> lives. You like your life, right? I do, but I also really like camping. And I think that we're going to be fine if we make it through the night. Yeah! And later that night, we had another visitor. This time, a Slap City local who was stopping by to say hello. Oh, got the fire. Enjoy it. Yo. Yo. Some oh. barbecue. We're just having a little snack. Stop doing here. All right, we're just camping. We're just visiting. Got a handsome face, man. So I think we were just um, yeah, packing Yeah, we were just packing up. up, yeah. Yeah, it sounded like a good idea. It's a dangerous city. I think we should. I think we should. Yeah, yeah. I should definitely it's, go. Yeah. Guys, I think you should say, what? This is exactly what I'm saying. Like, it's just so. <laughs> yeah, it's not even worth it. Like, just leave the tent. Like, Bruh. I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. Where did he come from? Did I you don't see him? No, I didn't. All I heard was, like, he just came up so quick. So, what did we learn here today? Don't trust Brent when he says he's taking us on a nice vacation. Ever. Okay. Right. This was great. Um, we can turn off the camera now. <laughs> oh my god. So this is my friend Kayla. His behind the wheel driving test is in three days. But I have never driven with him because his driving skills are not the best. It's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, we might crash when he drives. <laughs> so today we are going to drive with him for the first time. But what he doesn't know is I am going to prank him with fake cops that are going to pull him over for reckless driving. Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. This is our first time driving with you. Caleb, you cannot kill us. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> oh, jump, 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 jump. jump, jump. jump. Oh, God. Okay, oh, watch out for the curb! Watch out for the curb! Oh, oh, my God! Oh, God. <laughs> There's way too many cars, dude. Bro, slow down! Oh, God! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Guys, I don't have my license. There's a cop. Like I past the cop. Yeah, go, go really slow past the cop. Like, actually. Do you think we're sus? Yeah, I so said we just go... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We're on a red... Oh, oh, oh my oh. God. We're actually... No, no. Go somewhere else. Have oh. Any identification on okay, You got a license or registration? I don't. It, we're just driving the in the parking lot right there, making a video. Yeah, we're driving kind of erratic. Alright, you want to step out of the car for me? Yeah, I got you. Alright, I'm gonna handcuff you. Just film. Just don't get in my way. So what is he being arrested for? Well, the vehicle was driving erratic in the parking lot. He does not know what's going on. I think my driving was bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is all a prank, Caleb. Oh yeah, it's actually not though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it actually is a prank, Caleb. It's a prank. This is my friend Mario. <laughs> 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 
Did you think it was real? I definitely thought it was real. All right, so Caleb, what lesson did we learn here today? Oh, I'm gonna have to reschedule my driver's appointment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dom has a dentist appointment. Yes, I do. So we dragged him here to the dentist because he hates the dentist. What's so scary about the dentist? What do you mean? All right. No, no. Oh, hey, no, Dom, no, no, Dom, no, no. I wasn't doing it. No, guys. <laughs> Dom, it's not gonna be that bad. All right, Dom, we're ready for you. Come on back. Oh my God. <laughs> so how's uh, how's your morning? How's school and everything? Oh, uh, I uh, got. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think oh, there's yeah. gonna be a lot of bleeding here once I get in there. Huh? <laughs> oh man. Oh my god, Dom, you're oh, bleeding. A lot of bleeding here. Why? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you need to floss more, I think. Are you <laughs> 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 Alright. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't see right now. <laughs> Dom, are you even using toothpaste? Do you even know what it is? Huh? Yeah. Am I being roasted by my dentist right now? <laughs> it shouldn't have hurt too bad. <laughs> no, 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 all right, Dom. Well done. Here is a lollipop. Really? I thought you said candy gives you cavities. Just one's not gonna do any harm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No. I just tested you and you failed. I am never, <laughs> never going back to the desert. <laughs> no. Oh my God. What is going on here? Oh my God. What is going on? So if you guys didn't know, this is Miss Baldwin, and she was Jeremy's ninth grade English teacher. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be, is gonna be all bad. What type of student was Jeremy? Jeremy was the class clown. What? He thought he was funny, but he really wasn't. What? If only you put in as much effort in your studies as you did your TikTok videos, you would have been such a scholar. What? Was he a good speller? I don't gotta talk about that. So what word should he spell? Definitely. Hey, if I was typing it out, it'd be a lot different. Cause yeah, it'd be autocorrect. <laughs> <laughs> <They're fit -fit. laughs> I, I wasn't finished. Now I'm starting to question your teaching about <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is her fault. Did you ever call on Jeremy just to make him look dumb? Definitely. No. Gosh, I swear you, you would do that. that. You know what else you were doing all the time? <laughs> eating in class. Don't act like you need to eat in your class. Well, I am the teacher. Miss <laughs> Baldwin, are you going to miss Jeremy as a student? Yes, I'm gonna miss Jeremy as a student. Oh, there we go. Not for long, because guess what? I'm moving out here. Okay, I, I think my dad's calling me. So our friends think our new house is haunted. It is haunted. No, it's not. What about that one night, Brent? What about that one night? You know exactly what happened. <laughs> I heard it. I, I think the house that. is haunted. If something's telling me it's coming from upstairs. Something's <laughs> This house is haunted, I tell you. Okay, because all of our friends think the house is actually haunted, we are gonna be scaring the living hell out of them. So our friend Sophie is going to be playing a creepy girl. Derek is gonna be playing a scary monster. And Caleb here is going to be a ghost. Boom, let's go. <laughs> Yo, ben, 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 come here, come here, come here. What? Literally, I'm not even kidding, I heard a ghost. I, didn't. I was here and all the lights went off. <gasps> oh my God. What? Okay, that's just someone in a... <laughs> Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Bro! Stop! Oh my god! Bro! Oh my god, you're shaking! You know I hate this stuff, man. Holy! It's Sophie! Yo, I am not sleeping tonight. I hate this so much. I swear to you, there's a ghost. You were right. You guys were right. There's literally a ghost in this house. Oh my god! There's a ghost in this house! Jared, that's Jeremy! What is I that? Literally, oh, what? I actually don't like that. What is that? See? Ah! Wait, come here! I hate this kind come of stuff! Come here. Ah! Oh my god, I'm gonna die! I'm literally gonna die! Get out! Get away! It's a prank, it's a prank! Oh my god, so I didn't really enjoy that. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? I swear to you, there's a ghost here. <gasps> What's that? What was that sound? Oh my god! Oh my god! I should know when you asked me to come over this late at night that it can't be anything good. <laughs> no, Andrew, 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 come here. I'm not even kidding. There's a ghost in this house. Stop. Oh. <laughs> what the hell that? I'm telling you, there's a ghost. Who was that? What is that? All right. Yeah, this is creepy. Wait, it came from over here. What is that? Oh my god! What is that? What? <laughs> Yeah. What the hell is this? <laughs> Holy crap, you're gonna take me to the hospital right now. <laughs> you're one of the people that think there's ghosts in this house. Oh, for sure. There's, there's for no, sure ghosts. There's no ghosts. No. Oh 
Oh my god! Okay, maybe there are, maybe there are. Alright, so today we're gonna let strangers spin this wheel. Ooh. And if it lands on the gold one, they get brand new AirPod Maxes. Some people are gonna get real lucky today. Oh yeah, because we're rigging it. Yep. And they're gonna win no matter what. Yep. <laughs> so we have this wheel, okay? If it lands on the gold, you get these brand new AirPod Maxes. Alright, come on, baby, come on. Come on. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. There you go, they're all yours. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! I just got it! Go. Congratulations! Here we go! Oh my god! Whoa! Bro! Bro, wait a minute! Wait a minute! We just got them! What? I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Come on! Oh my god! No way! Yes, no no way! Yes. No way! You got it! <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome. Nice job. All right, so today I am here with my friends, and we're gonna be doing the biggest liquid nitrogen experiment ever done in a living room. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Oh my god! No way! Bro, this is crazy. It's like we're in a big cloud right now. 